good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we've I've just reviewed uh, the the uh, the YouTube uh, that I've just recorded with uh, Evan Lewis, um, and it has gone on for a uh, a very interesting and very fascinating uh, forty odd minutes. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're going to do a little recording as a way of introduction which will be a separate little YouTube uh, uh, and I, it was worthwhile actually because um, Evan mentioned the fact that he was talking to um, during the construction during his installation at Expo to John Barlow Hudson um, and as many of you will know uh, Paradigm a beautiful beautiful piece has never been re-erected in Brisbane um, and I'm certainly have had numerous discussions with the Lord Mayor uh, about having it re-erected as either part of the 25th anniversary celebrations or alternatively uh, as a special um, um, feature uh, for the G20 which we're, which we're going to be having in the year 2014 now. Um, so uh, Evan, do you just want to talk a little bit about um, you know that beautiful piece, uh, Paradigm, because you, you mentioned before that you found it quite uh, stunning. Um, during uh, your time at Expo? Yes, well, I, uh, you know, it, it was kind of sort of the featured piece, right, for the, for the whole Expo, uh, really based mostly on its size, a very tall piece, and um, incredibly compelling uh, sculpture, um, just, just a really striking, interesting uh, work that brings to mind all sorts of uh, things like, um, you know, almost like a, a modernist uh, version of a Brancusi or something like that. And so it was exciting for me, being young at the time, to um, meet uh, John Barlow Hudson uh, there building the piece. And, um, you know, he was a little older than me, obviously a little more experienced at the time. And um, it was just very exciting to, uh, to see that going on. And the, the scale of it was really, really very impressive. It's, uh, it's amazing, actually. He was one of the lead sculptors in the Beijing Games in the year 2000. Um, and the, in the, the sculpture garden that was attached to the Olympic Games, he did a similar piece um, that was about 30 odd foot high. Um, and ours, you know, Expo 88's uh, paradigm was a 100 foot high. It was the first time uh, that a computer had been used to design a, or help design a sculpture to, you know, internally make sure it stood up. Uh, and it was the first time, uh, and it was John Troscott's idea that John Barlow Hudson was uh, very appreciative of, where a, a lighting system was installed into a sculpture that was actually run by a computer. And, you know, we've got to bear in mind that this is 25 years ago at, at you know, at the very early stages of uh, of computers, and you know, these days, you know, they can put uh, the the computer power that they they drove the Apollo uh, spaceships to. Uh, they can put it on almost a pinhead these days. Um, so it was, yeah. you know, quite really quite an exciting time. Um, and so, well, just I wanted to, I just wanted to add. Interestingly, a few years ago, maybe four or five years ago. I was, a, I was a finalist for a public art project in Ohio, and so was John Barlow Hudson. And it just so happened that this project was, was going in a college that was 10 miles from his studio. And he and I competed for that, and it was the first time that we'd seen each other since Brisbane. And, uh, and he won the commission. No, he's, he's, I've no doubt that you are also a very talented man, but uh, I've now had uh, the great pleasure of doing four Skype interviews uh, with John Barlow Hudson, and they every single one was just full of fascinating detail, and I did so much enjoy the uh, the discussion with him. He's um, is, is like yourself, a very laconic, laid-back individual, um, you know, highly, highly intelligent. Um, and just it was a great pleasure to uh, to have a discussion, as it has been with yourself, Evan. Um, I must admit, uh, you were the I think about the only person who um, was able to load up their own pictures on their Facebook page, um, and it was quite a surprise one Saturday morning when I came home, and there there were photos that I haven't loaded up myself, and I was so appreciative uh, of your efforts at that particular time. Yeah, that was all my wife's work. 
Yeah. No, that, <laughs> that's she's good. Not, she's, the, she's the winners with the IT and so forth. Oh, well, that's... Uh, Mostly like to swing a hammer, you know. <laughs> All right. Evan, it has been absolutely great uh, talking to you. This is a good introduction into uh, your longer uh, interview, which I, you know, people should definitely uh, um, um, uh, watch uh, and enjoy. Uh, and with that, we'll say, uh, uh, I'll say good morning, uh, 10 to 6 in the morning. Uh, you can say good afternoon. Uh, and we look forward to uh, catching up with you uh, uh, again at some later point, maybe during uh, the uh, the 25th anniversary, as uh, people take a, a you know far more interesting, um, or if take a much greater interest in uh, uh, in the celebration. Uh, and with that, I'll say again, good morning. <music>